second modifier is really game changing. Well, it does change the size of the glades, which is a thing. Gain two amber every time you sell goods worth ten amber. Okay. Villager speed off road is decreased by thirty percent. Oh, I have to make coats. I have to make coats or I just eat minus six global resolve. Twice the amount of goods when using services. Oh, I have like never set up services in my entire life. Losing villagers will add 0.5 more points to her impatience. Wait, that's a lot. That's a lot of points, actually. Did I take a farm? I didn't take a farm. Hmm. Cloudburst is the worst. It seems beatable. Bakery, biscuits, pie, pottery. It's everything you've ever needed. Carpenter? The cookhouse is kind of strong. Two people who want skewers. If 84 on one side, more than 84 on the other side. And I'm harvesting vegetables right now, so let's let people eat vegetables. But nothing else. And let's buy the cookhouse as quickly as we possibly can. I mean, it's not that fast. That's really not that fast. Is there any hyper gruts? All right. Priority one, 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 one. I turn out not to need this right now. I do want that. Let's see what happens. You think the Loki's Morse one is 50% increase wood cutting speed and 100% destroy the product? Four minutes of no wood gathering is rough. I have intending to not have much wood gathering during the storms. Don't you just, um,. I mean, I feel like you just run more woodcutters during the not storm. This seems like the solution to our woes. I needed 12 planks. I needed six bricks. Of for some reason stopped having a builder for that building. Racing is things for 27 months. I wanna burn oil. 
oil for a while. But not forever. Keep an eye on it. It's the blue icon. That's starvation. This is... Um, these are my negative resolve penalties. Hostility of the forest. Ah, that's just from two hostility, of course. Uh, prayer book's okay. One to lizard resolve for every 70 training gear produced. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, clay delivery line it is. That covers us for brick production, kind of, a little bit. Hey, Vampy, how are you? I think I look at at least one of these. Camps. I can build these, right? Just need 10 bricks and I complete a quest. Getting one more wildfire essence would let me play three hearths. Ooh, I kind of like that. And it gives me food. Five glades is going to take a long time. I don't think I'll be doing this anytime soon either, though, unless I find fertile ground. feel about this you spend 70 wood on planks and then you can make planks better for the rest of the run don't know It is like maybe passable, I think is how I feel about it. How am I today? I'm pretty good. I'm not too bad. I love you can pause this game. Yes, it definitely makes it a much better game. If you use bricks, it is minus four bricks. Uh, my brick recipe is actually pretty bad, isn't it? Oh no, you're right. Yeah, I can do it with bricks. I like that. Okay, let's do it with bricks. That's fine. So when the forest starts yelling at me, which is going to be not that long, I am going to have minus eight resolve on everybody. Looking at current resolve, that doesn't seem like a good thing. <laughs> Seems like perhaps a bad thing. Why are you making the fabric? Because I didn't tell you not to. That's on me, that's my bad. Is the temperature here? Oh, I don't know. There's snow outside. I haven't looked. It is very pretty, though. I mean, I've looked at the snow. I haven't looked at what the temperature is. You could Google Seattle temperature and tell me what it says. If anyone leaves your settlement, you're done, and not just on Twitch. I'm 
unlucky. How do dangerous glades raise hostility? Do the dangerous glades raise hostility by different amount than regular glades? Yes, they do. By more. Did you try we were about to die? I did not. You crappy boy. It is minus one degree Celsius in Seattle. So not warm. Why do the orientations of the houses have an arrow? I don't know. Somebody mentioned that uh, maybe at an earlier time, like on an earlier patch, they actually did go in the houses. I don't know if that's true or not. If someone wrote it on the internet, it is most likely not true. Ironically, what you have just said is most likely not true. Mm -hmm. It thinks I have no bricks because I've taken them to this construction site. There are so many irritating things about how this decides how many materials you have. I think getting the cookhouse built is kind of important here, because I think I need to feed people skewers or they leave. <laughs> you know, watching the Builder Harpy go around, the AI is interesting. In a good way or a bad way? Let's add another two builders. Feels like it's about time. Into more planks. I'm gonna force delivery after this. Did my lizard just 2x? My lizard might have just 2x. Getting pretty close to being all that I want to burn of that. Burn some coal. The timing of pauses makes it very inefficient sometimes because it seems to reconsider its tasks. Also, its pathing is horrendous. Uh, there are bots to be starting the game for the first time. Yeah, from like two weeks ago, probably. Doesn't look like people are going to eat skewers. Unlucky. Don't have cloud burst yet, though. Lizards like it here. One is probably enough right now. I'll do two of them. Get the first cycle of them done. This is a prestige 20. Do you sometimes use two fuel on this prestige level? Like my fuel went down by two there. I 
prestige 20 penalty. Any villagers that leave give an extra 0.5 impatience. So, you know, don't have villagers leave. They take two fuel to the hearth at a time, but it burns both normally. Hmm, gotcha. That makes sense. Man. Uh, all right. First thing, villager speed off-road is decreased. We just roll with it. I kind of want to not open any glaives. Kind of seems strong. <laughs> like, how do you lose? <laughs> okay, I can, I can think of a few ways. Skewers arrived just in time. Anything that I really want here? Oil send would be okay. Part send is generally okay. So I do. I'm gonna forget about that and then starve my people again. I'm telling you right now, zero percent chance that my people don't starve from me doing that. Also, I should build another couple of houses. Advantageous to time traders of the storms, they arrive in drizzle for my bonus. It is, yeah. Socratic backseat. More people. Didn't build the houses yet. Um, it's fine though. It doesn't increase hostility. It will decrease the resolve slightly. Or tools. I lose from here. It's too strong. We'll do walk very slowly though. It's not like I can send trade routes without any packs. Well, I'm about to. 
I am going to build the packs first, but you know, after I have built the packs, I am about to send a trader. Oh, need a stormbird? Uh, I don't think I need a stormbird. <laughs> I don't feel like I need a stormbird. I have six of these. I'll s oh, I don't know if I want to send oil. Planks sell for a lot. Art sells for a lot. And I got, I saw one more Amber, I'll get refunded. Beaver Resolve is low. What happened? We're hungry. Y'all, please don't do that. Please eat the delicious food. Harpies are also starving. Everybody's starving. Three dangerous glades. Seems free. Oh, can I do that? Can I do that? 28 beaver resolve. The lumber mill's so strong. <sighs> the lumber mill is so strong. Did I have uh, pickles in one of these? No. I think I have a building that makes them, though. I do not, but I can make biscuits and pie if I ever make flour. Not hard to make flour. 28 resolve. Their base is 13. Why does this say plus three, but this says plus one? Oh, this is just other. Okay, so their base is, their base is 10. So I'd need plus 18 net. Seems very difficult. You have to fulfill the resolve and the amount of beavers at the same time. Yes. I, I, yes. Wait, do you? Wait, maybe you don't. Hmm. I'm not actually sure. I think you do. I think you have to fulfill both of them at the same time. I don't think I can do that, and I think that this is free. So... Interesting. Can I make a jerky? I think not yet, but uh, I don't imagine I'll ever give away 65 roots this run. I think I would die. I would starve. So. Old farmer loaf. This 
smithy. Reinforced axes could be nice. Reinforced axes, I think, is very nice. And protected trades. Hostility is reduced by 15 points every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. Yeah. Okay. So that's a way to deal with hostility here pretty well. I think I want reinforced axes. Let's break into this glade. This one's free, yeah? This one's completely free. Send the oil to it. I kind of want to salvage. I'm getting better and better at, like, using things for stuff. This could eventually be giving, like, four to six global resolve, but it doesn't do anything right now. The mushrooms early feel really good. And the crystallized dew is very strong, too. I'm going to check which side of skewers mushrooms are. They're the left side. They combo with my vegetable patch. The ancient tablets sell at trade routes too, and I have the thing that reduces hostility for selling at trade routes. I'm four years off of 12 beavers. Oh, wait. Very good. I also leveled Farloff. It's a lovable, a jovial fellow, old Farloff. Get this one done before the end of the year. I already have two. I need 25. Ooh, that's a lot. I have 57 seconds on you. If I did that, it would still be done before the end of the season. Isn't this working? Isn't it money one? Hmm? <laughs> Do not know what that means. How did I discover this game? Honestly, don't remember. It might have been in my Steam suggested list. Value of goods sold. Yep. So I just sold four amber worth of goods, so I went up by four. Does that answer your question? What are you asking? Um, can I make eight planks? a large node. These ones are small, so I can make wheat. I reckon the wheat doesn't do much for me. I can also harvest this, and this does have a little bit of food in it. Okay. 
my friend. I got another five amber. But five amber costs like more because markup. So rude. Uh, but I can just sell a bunch of wood, I think. Mr. Gamesy, thanks for the prime. Hey, like Tom. Glad you're feeling a bit better. Oh, this also has an ancient tablet for this quest, which gives me a bunch of other food. Okay, that's really good. I hope I find a building that makes fuel. I don't want to burn wood all game, really. Planks and bricks. It's like extra hearths are strong if you have a way to fuel them and not great otherwise. I'm actually run lizards. Getting the first reputation point off lizards is pretty easy and I'm gonna worry about harpies later. Actually I could be doing both of them at once almost. I like those skewers. Remember back in the day, old Farloff caught a ferry to Morganville, which is what they called Shelbyville at the time. Same, actually. I have to make these out of wood, I think, unfortunately. The building is great. You have the resources to use it, and not otherwise. I don't know. I don't know. How are we all doing? I'm doing well, Verdovas. How are you? Is this a buy extra trade routes sort of run? I feel like it is. Twenty-six jerky? How could anyone ever have twenty-six jerky? Distance seven, six, five. Gosh. Not really what I wanted. How long does a run usually take? Uh, they're like three hours long-ish. Depending on how fast you apply. You can get done in two pretty easily if you're faster than me. Use pause pretty liberally. Welcome, collected company. I did not make the planks. An ancient tablet for 16. I would need 15 packs of provisions. Uh, 
can't make packs of provisions. This is a problem. If I stopped letting myself eat insects, which I already have done, and then we like move this out of the way and start harvesting this, we can get some insects out of this. Whoa! The color! It just happened. Holy shit. I did want packs of building materials out of bricks. Eventually. I'm gonna have 12 packs of provisions. I don't think I send that. Insects too valuable. I'm getting paid three. Hmm. I think what I want to do is I want to send this at the end of the season so it arrives in spring. You think I'll remember to do that? I'm not even gonna have it yet. So I guess that's actually kind of not a thing. In that case, how do I not have um, the resin go? How do I not have nine of this yet? Am I not on a map that gives resin from trees? I am not. Okay, I've worked it out. Can I make luxury goods? Absolutely not. These are all gone now? Okay, I no longer have to uh, think about the decision, I guess. Just click the trade route when it's drizzle. Oh, clever. Yeah, yeah, I imagine you're right. That's really clever. X is so strong. Plus production perks affect the extra tree resources. I think it's the main one only, but I'm not sure. I think it's like a 2x on the main resource production usually. But the plus production perks affect the extra tree resources. Okay, people are saying that I'm wrong. I am inclined to trust the people who are saying I'm wrong then. Remember the meat tree run where I ran out of wood? Oh, you're saying like if you get plus one to meat production. I thought you were saying the chance of um, having a 2x on productions. I think those two things are different things. I'm not 100% sure. So I could hold this until Grizzle. Insects aren't on the left side of Skeepers, right? Oh shit, they are. I'm still gonna sell it, I think. Even the ones that gave you plus one for each harvest stack up, the 2x should also affect it. So when I harvest this, I get one wood every time. 60% of the time I get another wood, 10% insect, 10% fiber, 10% vegetable. If I have a 5% chance of double production, then if I get an insect on the roll, 
I get another insect 5% of the time? Or is it 5% of the time I double all of the production, including the bonus stuff? In marshlands, you got plus 11 mushrooms from a chop. If only. If only I could be that successful in my own life. Aren't I running two streams at once right now? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, I think you're talking about Mini Jorbs, who is uh, unrelated. Well, I mean, kind of related to me, but different person. I have a lot of resolve. Going into the storm, I think I'm fine here. I'm down to take the parts. I want the woodcutters, mostly. I'm still at hostility one. I have two builders. Uh, I'm not sure what they're meant to do. Let me build that road since I have lower movement speed during the storm and lower off-road movement speed during the storm and I have to bring all of this crap back. It's gonna take a while. can sell a bunch of these pretty soon. Like this is done. They're in the mail. They're on the way. Jorbs is in the upper left. That freakish mega Jorbs in the lower right. I've never met that man before in my life. Beautiful, beautiful Jorbs. I kind of want to play, um, I kind of want to play like 20 watcher runs per day for a while. How upset would that make you all? I bet you'd hate that. So what if I sent all of this? 512 that arrives during drizzle. What's the exchange rate on the other one? This is two for four with one provision. This is five for six. Oh, that's way worse. Okay. Let's send all of the good exchange rate. And then I would also like to send this eventually, but like not as much of it, just one probably. 20 watcher runs, wouldn't that only take two hours? No, 20 defect runs would take two hours. 20 watcher runs would take a bit longer. I want to make sure that I have mushroom eating off. Yeah, I have everything eating off. Okay, good. Why do we care about when trade routes arrive? Um, here. Active only in season Drizzle. Queen's Generous City knows no limits. Gain two amber every time you sell goods worth 20 amber. Sorry. Two amber every time you sell goods worth 10 amber. 
talking. Talking is a struggle at times. I wonder if it's worth it to do the mushrooms there. I don't know. I'm almost done with these packs of building materials, at which point my planks are better forever. It's pretty cool. I'm still waiting on the clay delivery line, I guess. The clay delivery line slow. Hey, I got a point. A reputation. Supplier makes flour and better planks. Flour I can make out of the grain that's over there, and then I can use flour to make biscuits out of roots. Um, that seems real good. Okay, let me let me think this through. So I want to harvest this now. What resources do I not have? I don't have parts. Oh no, I don't have parts. I could drop one of my woodcutter's camps. Just put you here for forced delivery. And then I can drop that. Actually, what if I had moved it? Here, this is like forbidden tech. Oh, it doesn't quite work. Well, this is a different sort of forbidden tech that also works. So I'll delete that. I'll build that. And I want to build the supplier. I didn't even take yet. It's going to go right there. This is how I build planks now and how I build flour. The trees have leather. No. Leather is so strange. Like you either have it or you don't. There isn't really much you can do to change that. Most of the delivery lines are about the rate of a single worker gathering or making it. A flower can move even from grain roots and mushrooms. Oh, I don't even need this. I can make it out of mushrooms that I just got. Or roots. Cool. Although, I want roots for the right side of this. Ranch can produce leather. Yeah, I know, but like... Ranch is hard to find. How do you find a ranch? I think if I deliver all of this, sorry, all of that, I end up being able to make this. Did I deliver this? I'm in the process. You can only carry one thing at a time. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I mean, I like probably knew that, but like, gross. You're going to take a break? Okay, I don't need this insect. Now I can bolt that. Are trade routes sell goods? Yes, trade routes count as selling goods. I could do this real quick. So I want to lose that entirely to get more sold during spring. I'm okay with that. I don't really want to sell my food. prefer to sell other stuff.
Oh, yeah, everything's happening all at once. Actually, literally everything's happening. This also finished building. So I'm okay. I don't want to use mushrooms for that either, though. I think I want to use grain for this only. I don't make planks here anymore. I want building materials there. I need uh, another caravan. There's no caravan. Six glades. No. We're trying to make luxury goods? I could do this. This could be like the last thing that I did, but it wouldn't be something I did before the last thing that I did. For the drizzle bonus, is it when you press sell or collect it? I think it's when you collect it, but we can check real quick. And find out for sure very shortly. Oh, you can always buy these from the trader, actually. It's fine then, I guess. Thirsty trader. Sell goods worth at least 45 amber to a trader or trade route. And 40 water skins. The water skins feel kind of difficult unless you sell 40 water skins. Or a lot of leather. I do have a supplier. I'd only need 20 leather. If I 2x twice, <laughs> I could actually finish that right now, but I'd have to 2x twice. I don't think we can do that, unfortunately. Cosmetic specialization. 70 cosmetics produced. It's oil or eggs and... Uh, that's very hard to do. I would reroll, but rerolling also seems hard. <laughs> okay, I guess we just take something that doesn't do anything. So let's check this. We're at 24 out of 25. I collect this. Yeah. Definitely it's when you click collect. Everybody wants my oil. I want that. I want that real bad. Berries and plant fiber. Do berries go in biscuits? I do? Holy shit! Um, how am I going to get that much money? Another 14 money. I have 1 minute 17. I can get 2 this way. Oh shit, I can get 5 this way. That's better. Ah, uh, but then the rest feels kind of hard. I need another nine. Plant fiber is surprisingly expensive. Could buy the rest of my parts and all of my tools. Alright, so I'll be able to. We need to do it when the next trade route comes in, though. One of your orders is ethereal. I forgot, but I can't do this, yeah? So, complete any four dangerous or forbidden glade events and get artisan, which makes coats. Or this is fairly free. Let's go for four dangerous or forbidden glide events. Are these do these count? Anybody know? I think those might count. Okay. So I might not get this farm going this year, 
unfortunately. Let's run woodcutters. And woodcutters. I actually do need builders as well. Where do builders come from? Drop the harvester's camp. Drop one from the harvester's camp. Drop the blight post for a while. Does crude workstation matter? Kind of, because I need to do that one quest. All right. It's just the main events. Okay. I think it's sort of some of the side events too. I am failing to break into this glade. Please break into that glade. Oh, did we get one? We already got one. Okay. Oh, this is just all from lizards. Nice. Lizards are fucking pog. This is a lizard house. Okay. I'm slightly whelmed. If the ghost request is not met in time, it will simply vanish. It wants me to rebuild ruins found in the glades. Okay. I, I guess I can do that. It wants two ancient tablets. Uh, I must have two ancient tablets. Working effects. Minus eight to global resolve. I would get five peoples and some goods. Minus eight to global resolve is fine. It does lose me my reputation gain at the moment. But I get 20 amber and I get a big glade. There's no fertile soil here. Take a look at what this is. Ah, uh, it's another hearth in theory. How's the storm been today? It's been good. We will do that thing. I am out of builders again. Ah, but I just finished this event. I have three ancient tablets. Nobody wanted an ancient tablet, right? I could... Oh, I can sell an ancient tablet now. Because you want two. You want two ancient tablets, so I have one extra. I can sell it here, or I can wait. I can sell, like, everything else. But we'll see how painful it is to hold on to it, because it sells for, like, 20 or something. Oh, actually, I need it for this quest. Never mind, I can't sell. So much stuff. A lumber mill? Pack of trade goods. Scrolls. Better packs of provision. I already have, um, I already have good planks. Not great planks, but I have, have pretty good planks already. So I think I take a provisioner. I'll stop making packs of provisions here ever. So much shit to do. We want to limit that at like 20. I could make flour out of other things. I just I want to make it out of that, I'm pretty sure. Why can't I build this now? Because I don't have enough builders. Right, that makes sense. There are no humans to harvest this grain, unfortunately. How hard is this game? It's kind of as hard as you want to make it. There's a lot of um, difficulty options. It's very complicated. There's a lot of complexity. I need another person to do this now. Sorry, there's no one here. Put someone there. Did they die? Eh. Like they died. They just disappeared. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck! 
Oh, that's so bad. I didn't get my thing. That's so bad. I needed a pause, apparently. Shit, 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 shit. That's really bad. That's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, I put you in a medium abandoned cache. That's what happened to you. Okay, so you didn't quite die. <laughs> Almost, though. I have to rebuild this for that quest. We'll see what it is. Yeah, that sucks. I really wanted to make use of the fertile ground. Did I have a thing to make fabric? Why have I turned that off? I guess I have a billion fabric this run. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is Oh, that is very bad. Uh, I don't think it will kill me, because I'm in a pretty strong position, but it's bad. Redoot is completed. I get more minus hostility for that? Hope so. I'm already at minus 30 hostility from this perk. Good stuff. Try to keep hostility down, though. Berry farm is the worst one anyway. I felt like berries were really useful to most of the stuff I was doing. Also, it just feels better to have a farm than to not have a farm, you know? So it's set up to cruise through the map, and now I have to find a different solution. Sure, yeah, vaguely. It was like being offered a Reaper and then not clicking on it to take it. Perhaps. I feel like it's only good if you can make the fiber into trade goods efficiently. Oh, I was just going to make berries. This is done, Calm Spirit. Jerky. I need to satisfy the need for jerky 50 times. I just found 30 of them, so I guess that's a start. Feels like it could have been stronger. The parts I will use, I guess. Maybe I should have made um, Spark Dew and used Spark Dew for that instead. Nothing else to do here, right? Bricks. Apparently I have 11 bricks. And five in here. Finish the building materials quest. The luxury boxes are nice. Sometimes people ask for luxury boxes. It definitely happens sometimes. Ooh. These are selling for one amber each. Do I have root delivery? Where are my roots coming from? The trees, huh? These are selling for more than one amber each. Ah, uh, do that. Ooh, 
does feel like amber is kind of good. I think I want to keep the trade routes rolling, even if I'm selling things at not the best prices. I need a provisioner now, though, to make new ones. Explain it to me in long war challenge terminology. We have detected a research mission that was landed, but not gone to it before it left because I got distracted by something. So many planks. When are we delivering this? High level of corruption. Yeah, we have some fuel. Surely we're going to deliver that soon. Do I have flour? Hold on. No. I don't know what's going on with my grain harvesting. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Once this is done, I want to build a camp here, and I'll burn this at the fire. It's like not getting a meld. I think it's uh, much worse than just not picking up meld. Big delivery is done. And a huge. So I get plus one plank production now, and also 20 bricks to refund all of the bricks that I used. Can make a barrel? Provisioner can also make flour. I'm mostly using it for packs of provisions. Like getting your interceptor shot down because you didn't hit the abort button fast enough, and now you have to build a new interceptor to make up for it. Maybe. Harvester's camp has no deposits nearby. Loot. I'll go into this glade next year, I guess. Or maybe this one, I don't know. We can do any of them, really. New people! Seven cloaks. These ones have slightly more food. What about more beavers for more woodcutting, though? One house. You really want to watch me play, but you're also enjoying the game and you're worried about spoilers. Understandable. Understandable. Let's collect that. I'm going to hold on to the 10 and do it in Drizzle, I think. It's nice that um, traders arrive in Drizzle too, so that's when I need the Amber anyway. Did I like make flour yet. I don't... something is not working with y'all. <laughs> like, this is just not happening for some reason.
I don't know what exactly that reason is, but it's clearly not happening. Uh, I want to turn the jerky into skewers immediately. Left side of this is... It's doing okay. This is doing okay. I feel like this map's actually really strong. Blade event is complete. Let's run Harpy Resolve just a little bit. Music track remind anyone else of Cultist Simulator. I didn't like Cultist in that, that game. <laughs> game frustrated me. Felt like I was playing a story game, but they tried to also make it like a strategy game. And they did a poor job of both because of not picking one or the other. Anyway. I'm just like barking at clouds or whatever, don't mind me. Maybe we use roots for this. I just would really like to make biscuits, you know? I'm using... So I'm using seven roots for ten flour. And then I'm using three roots to make biscuits. So it's not very efficient. Neither is this, I guess. Neither of them's very efficient. Sometimes I'll get the 2x. It's kind of only really efficient when I get the 2x. I need a big building. Uh, I don't want to be at 3 hostility. 2 is fine. Jorbs yells at clouds, yeah. Old Yeller. I don't have any packs of provisions. If I did, I could sell some meat or some jerky. I don't really want to do that. Looks like the trade routes this year are just kind of bad. The season kind of bad. This should be done very soon. Old Farluff yells at Cloud. Fucking love Farluff. Farluff. What a dude. Um, I'm going to hit Hostility 3 when I open a Glade, so I guess I don't want to do that until the start of next year. Oops. That's important to actually be running. Did we do it? Did we make flour? What the fuck? Does this have grain in it? Yes. Why? Why do you suck so much at making grain? Did this place do it? Oh, this place is making flour. You got all the grain. Okay. Okay. Understood. We're grieving. We're fine. Cold of the Lamb was fine. Not really my type of game, but there was nothing wrong with it that I could see. Super fun. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Cultist Simulator either. It's just like, it's not for me. Which is fine. Things are allowed to not be for me. I have harvested so much grain. It's made so little flour. Oh, the only reason I made flour there is that I turned it so that I was allowed to make it out of other things, huh? Let's make another beaver house. I'm just gonna slowly make beaver houses. I have very good plank production. Uh, here? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Nothing wrong with Cultist Simulator except the devs, so I didn't know there was stuff going on there. That is above my pay grade. Build a 
another hearth. Oh shit, I should build another hearth, probably. I guess I build bricks here as well still. Right. Did we get to 20 already? This is my first attempt at 20. It's looking really strong. I am encouraged by what has happened so far. A little bit iffy on the food thing, but... um. I can buy food from traders or something. We'll work it out. Oh, I need um, jerky fulfilled. But I turned all the jerky into skewers. Oh shit, my skewers. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I need to not use roots for this. I cannot be using roots. Turns out. At least I have biscuits. Biscuits will uh, keep me afloat. Sort of. I think another person here would be good. Why has Jorms got two webcams on the stream? Um, that The top left one is my actual size, but some people like a zoomed in camera. I have that as well. Oh, Farloof. Extraction tool. All farms can plant mushrooms on the farm fields. You have a farm. Oh, I've done this to myself. You don't have any food either. I like minus 50 hostility. Minus hostility generally good in my experience. Twenty-eight amber. It's a lot of amber. I wonder where I'm getting oil from. take this trade at the end and we just hold it until the next drizzle season at the end of this season I mean so I still have 42 amber start buying tools maybe This would feed me for a year, I guess. Maybe not a year. For a while. How many do I need? Seven. Um. <laughs> what the fuck, old Farlow? <laughs> Oh my 
god. Um, okay. That's kind of painful. Amber nowadays is only worth half an amber. Yeah. Yeah, apparently. Sure don't make it like they used to. Ten tools, six glades, four caches? Four caches seems more doable. Neither of those are really incredible. I wish that timed events happened more often. Timed events were really fun. When I was running the thing with them. I guess another option would have been to just um, use another blueprint and just use rerolls on the blueprint until I got a farm. Because now I don't have any amber for that. Oh well. Jimmy has four amber and Jenny has six amber. How much is that worth nowadays? Like, uh, enough to go to the movies for the night. No more than that, unfortunately. I need one more oil than I have. Exactly one more oil than I have. Where does oil come from? Do you have oil? Do you have planks? I'm gonna solve it with planks then. Don't have coal, don't want to use the tools. Sea marrow. Sea marrow I have. I'll just use sea marrow for it then. But it's very slow. 300 forest hostility. It's very slow to get the sea marrow. I think it might be too slow. Don't have resin. I might have to buy 21 planks. Planks are surprisingly cheap. I don't really, like, how are they so cheap? I don't understand. They seem very important. But then they don't, like, cost anything for some reason. Building supplies, in general, maybe are under-costed at traders. I cannot gather that. What else is here? Those are large nodes. There's a 3x copper mine if I want. And I can gather these. Okay. And what's in this? Nothing I really care about. I'm happy to convert this. I got even more minus hostility. This is per cat, minus 60. And then I took a book for minus 50. And then this is another minus 50. Do I have one of these already? No. Feels like my population's lagging a little bit behind. Oh shit! This is where I was getting oil from. Have I seen this game? I have not, well, my cow. Is it good? Is it wonderful? Hope you're having a good day. Ooh, this has leather in it. So with leather, I can make skins and do that one quest from forever ago that I failed. <laughs> God damn it, I could have just taken this. There were like seven different ways to do the quest um, without having to spend all of my money, it turns out. I have found another way to make planks and another way to make flour. So we're doing well. I needed 20 luxury goods for a quest.
I'm okay with a carpenter. This is just like buildings which make planks. Deck wins, I guess. It's like Slay the Spire, but an auto battler. Eight player lobbies that just added a roguelike mode you have not played. You have a Slay the Spire esque cards and you queue them up in an order. So it's like you play strike and then you play defend or something like that. You could see how that could be fun. X, 35 amber. Oh shit, we're rich. Anyone want to be rich? Can you buy 10 tools with 35 amber? I feel like the answer might be no. Oh, this person's here. If I salvage a building, I can do a thing. Wait, I have to salvage it though. I need to find more ruins for that to be an option. I need to build this still. No dig equals no dig. Sorry, what? <laughs> Is the game good? I haven't played an auto battler really since Storybook Brawl. I guess I have dabbled very, very, very minimally in super auto pets. What is wrong with my flower production? It just doesn't work. It was also the one I played that was like Storybook Brawl. Yeah, for like a day. It wasn't. I didn't play much of that. Be alright that I played a little bit of it. Do this to keep leveling things up. I don't know if I've ever gotten above level 3. Maybe level 3 is the highest. Possible. Did I ever fully uncover any of the dig sites in the Scarlet Orchard? I did not. You are allowed to use other types of fuel. Please feel free. So this is going to be next, this glade here, and this one. I think this modifier is pretty easy. Just barely missed that, unfortunately. Bricks. I can sell some bricks. I'm not very good at making bricks, but I have the clay delivery line, so I like get lots of them, even though I'm bad at making them. I think I am generally taking the ones who have food with them as a rule. Is anything worth running that I'm not currently running? Could help with that. Help with these. 
Build one of these. More builders. It's probably the right amount of builders-ish. Swordmaster, thanks for 47 months. Ash, thanks for 28 months. I play this so differently than you. You love my style. Thank you. You like the bars that are blue and red? It's kind of cool, isn't it? You would think, like, you would think a different color, maybe. Like, um, it's just very bold, blue and red. But, no, they just went for it. I don't know if I want to make packs of crops to send. I feel like I probably don't. What is this doing? It's giving everybody minus... minus six at the moment. Hmm. Build a mine to make some tools. Oh, can I make copper bars? Nope. Well, build a mine, make some roads, maybe. Roads are fun. You might expect the green. You could be forgiven for thinking that that might happen, yeah. Didn't I take the, like, make 70 training goods thing or something? Make 70 cosmetics. How's that coming along? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, so I've created this building and it doesn't do anything, as far as I can tell. And crystallized you into tools. Make some planks. Make some packs of provisions. Imagine going for yellow. Key color. Yeah, no one would do that. If I moved some houses, like moved that there, and this here, and then built a couple more beaver houses. And a decoration. And actually ran this hearth. Maybe that would be good. Need some builders. I have one, two, I have two builders and um, seven cities to make. Glad to see you enjoying this game, Commander Jorbs. Any overarching thoughts on this game from someone that hasn't tried it yet but loves Long War? Uh, it is a strategy game, like Long War. I think that might be about the end of the similarities. It's not very similar. Hmm. My harvesting of flour has now ended. I have more builders though, I guess. The game's really good. If you like the systems in Long War where you're um like trying to balance research for your soldiers plus buying enough planes and developing your base and things like that. This game has a lot of that sort of vibe. It doesn't have that much of a tactical, strategic vibe. A little bit. There are some moments where doing things in the right order is suddenly very important. I am concerned about these camps running out. It seems bad for me. But I didn't get a farm. Which still seems like a bad decision too. Leather. Leather is so weird. Like it feels like it's either extremely valuable or completely irrelevant. 
Take another 10 trade. I guess. And then looks like I need five more bricks. Damn. Maybe I can't do that trade. Maybe I only have to we only get to do one. Still pretty good though. Old Farloff. Left right before my huge sell. Gosh, could have made so much more money off me. Silly old Farloff. What are the other trader names? I have no idea. Old Farloff is just the superior trader name, I think. There are no comparably good trader names. There is only old Farloff. I actually get Harpy Reputation gain during this event. Kinda cool. Also, uh, 47 seconds, huh? 31 seconds. Okay. How much of this stuff do I have? 30 seconds, 22 seconds. Goodbye, all of my stuff. I should put Harpies on this, but I don't need tons. Probably only need one, honestly. Don't want to burn more than I need to. 24, 33 eggs. I have to burn 16 sea marrow for that. Ouch. Get to. I get to burn 61 CMR for that. 31 CMR for that. 16 CMR for that. It could be literally any number. Like <laughs> there's there's unfortunately no way of knowing. Epo. Game is really good. Alright, this is minus 50 more forest hostility. So we're in like low two. Forest hostility? Um, I think I'm gonna get Harpy Resolve through the storm, yeah? No. Oh, it's minus 12, of course. Still that. It's been a while since I got super into a game like this. Don't click on that, because the point is that I'm waiting until spring, and then when I click on it, it reduces another 30 hostility. Let me check in on food real quick. I have 30 flour, but nothing for the other half of biscuits. Oh, I'm getting herbs though now. I have lots of the left side of skewers, but not much of the right side of them. These have berries sometimes. Okay. So this is doing a lot of work for me. We build a warehouse up here. Just need some fabric. Negative hostility run confirmed. I've never made hostility go like to zero. Never managed to do that before. I should take a look at what trade routes there are just in case there's something that... Well, I should wait, I guess, until that. But yeah, maybe there will be something that's worth cashing that in for. I think I could have gotten to Reputation 5 last year, and I just like missed it, just barely. I think it just kind of takes longer than I expect to get new goods when you start producing them. Should I start making building supplies out of blanks? 
I have 400 wood. What should I do with wood? If anyone has a thought, actually, I'd be curious. I've been making beaver houses, which I guess is one thing I can do. It's a nice warehouse to have. I don't really know what else I'm doing. Really big bonfire. I guess I could burn it for hostility during storms, but like, I'm running all of my woodcutters and I'm at hostility too. So that seems unnecessary. Let's see what this glade does. Ooh, I haven't seen this one for a while. Minus 90% tree felling. While I work on it, destroys all stored wood. I guess that's something I could do with my uh, wood. To fail this quest. We keep the goods here because... These turn into 20 tools for me and I just open uh, chests with them. So it's roundabout, but it ends up making me more reputation than sending to the Citadel would have. Minus 90% tree felling speed is relevant, probably. Feels like it would be relevant. I can't harvest that, but I could harvest this. also harvest this, yeah? I don't have a camp for it. Oop. Now I have a camp for it. This button I press to make the stuff on the ground pop out. I think by default it's B. I bound it to X. Personally. But I think by default it's B. Final order. 35 packs of provisions. That is not very hard to do. For a final order. I guess you either have it or you don't, right? But, I mean, if you have it, which I do, it's not very hard to do. Zorg is here. Cornerstone. Farmers get double yields under the effect of biscuits. I can make biscuits. I don't have any farmers, though. <gasps> A clay pit. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Um, contraband. You can choose one blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. That's expensive. That's expensive. <laughs> I think I can afford that. I don't really care about clay or reeds, as far as I can tell. One insect for every two mushrooms. That's a little bit of food. Probably enough food to be worth buying. Any blueprint seems really good. Yes. Why am I waiting on the collection of trade routes? Because I get um, minus hostility from them if they get collected in spring. That's the worst deal I've seen on Crystallized Dio. Blanks are cheap. Are 
342. I guess it gets done this season still. Uh, yeah, this is like, whatever. I'll take some packs of provisions, I guess. Harpies are gonna hit. Everybody else is still too low. I think I gained zero amber from the spring bonus because I didn't wait for it. Uh, I saw it go down here. Oh, do you mean from that one? That seems believable. Hey. Herb Garden was, uh, I believe a player for the Lakers in the early 80s. Alright. Zorg. Who looks like a frog. Well. I need not the left side of skewers. I need the right side of skewers. Vegetables, roots, eggs, or berries. Sure would be nice to be able to afford this. Um, you drive a hard bargain, Zorg. You do drive a hard bargain. Gary Oldman is Zorg. What is Gary Oldman up to these days anyway? I kind of want it all. The roots make flour. Go herbs and mushrooms. Cool run. It's um much lower production building. Like there just isn't that much production building stuff going on. And instead lots and lots and lots of trading. I suspect trading is just really strong. Like when you get it going, really strong. Say so this buyer in a movie, who would I cast as floor one jawworm? Uh, Aubrey Plaza. No question. I think it is not close. Pulling woodworkers next storm gets me to zero hostility. But I only have 366 wood right now. you think of my 366 wood? Uh, 
Oh, I need to salvage something I find in a glade. I need to open another glade to do that, I guess. I feel like Zorg could also be pretty good in a Slay the Spire movie. What character would I play? The Corrupt Heart? Time Eater? Maybe Time Eater. Ooh, we're hungry. Just because I don't have enough people in the cookhouse and I'm not letting people eat the raw food, yeah? Yeah, so I just need more people in the cookhouse. Easy solution to the problem. My population out. So I'm at 31. I need four people in the cookhouse. Wow. Oh, wait. You have yet to completely figure out what makes harpies happy. A lot of runs, they just sort of seem to become super determined out of nowhere. They have a lower distance from their base happiness and where they start gaining reputation for you. And the amount of extra resolve they need every point of reputation they make only goes up by two. This is why people say they are very good. They are very good at making you a lot of resolve. Well, a tool for three or two for five. Well, I did the math here and one of those deals is better than the other. Oh, um, maybe I should actually finish this quest. I have 12 in storage. They take 24 seconds to make. Yeah, let me finish that quest before I do the other stuff. It gets me a temple, which upgrades this hub. Kind of immediately-ish. I bet I can't build a temple. Oh, I can build a temple. Easy. Why am I spending packs of provisions? Well, I just stopped, didn't I? Just deliver here, and we're good. Twenty-three, yeah. Go, 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 go. Twenty-nine. I need one more person living there, and I need two more people living here. It's a disaster. I need more people. Where'd all my planks go? Sacrament of the Flame. Good sacrifice. Ancient Hearth will build 25% longer. Turn 25% longer. That building doesn't do much, actually. Like, it finishes this hub, and that's kind of it. I built decorations out of my planks. That makes sense. Are we doing okay or failing miserably? This is my first run 
on max difficulty. And I am about to win. So I would say that we're doing well. Tavern. That's more like it. That's the big building I actually want to make. Copper bars? Hold up. Maybe that's even better. I think this is actually even better. This wins faster. Game looks super complicated, not sure you will ever play it. Really fun game. You should try it out. You might find that you enjoy it. So I want expensive trades that take a while. I guess this is one of those. This is also one of them. Kind of expensive. Low difficulties are very forgiving. Yeah, like it, it just feels like you're building a city and you get to do fun things while you build your city at low difficulties. It's a lot of fun. High difficulty, the difficulty definitely ramps up. while longer than I should have to get that done, maybe. It's harpies. So I have one hostility, which basically means nothing matters. I can send a new trade route this season. I probably want to. Actually, maybe I don't have one I can send. I guess I don't have one I can send. But I'm missing for the ghost quest. I have to salvage a building. I have another 25 minutes. I'm probably never going to get that, I imagine. I imagine that I will finish the run before that actually happens. I can probably pick up meta progression and caches. I don't think I needed the smelter. This is 30 of those in it. Oh, the caches don't really have meta progression. Did I? Nope. Okay, am I dead? <laughs> if somebody goes to that cyst, I might just be dead. Nah, I'm okay. Are there three cysts here? There are, but I put a hydrant next to it. You get very, very, very heavily punished for losing villagers at this difficulty, and one of the ways you can lose villagers is to forget to staff your blight post before the storm. <laughs> Which feels like a very unsatisfying way to lose, but it definitely is a way that you can lose. But yeah, we're good. Oh, we have to go all the way up there. Are we good? We're good, right? We're good. I made a temple. 
it doesn't do anything. I should move two people over here. I'm gaining reputation from Harpy Resolve during the storm now. Temple can do education. Can't make scrolls. Uh, this is too slow. That is upsetting. I could have looked earlier and I would have had it. Oh. Used to be that all materials you burned extra in the heart gave you bonus resolve. Temple was super good then. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. There's a small destroyed caravan. A smokehouse could build much better jerky. Oh, I can't make jerky. So I have to choose between this loot box from salvaging or making jerky for a quest and also happiness. And I do have the recipe for it. I think I have to rebuild that. And what's this? Minus six global resolve. Send it. some builders. Yes, nope. I have those, those, those. Send sea marrow. Don't really want to. I have six of these. Like seven minutes. to suck less. <laughs> I need this to be better. Mostly I need more people. Which I guess is good. I guess it's good to feel like you have stuff to do for a new population when you get new population. An artisan that makes coats. A tinker makes things I can mostly already make. Maybe make some coats. Loot boxes.
is this... Does this go backwards? I don't think so. 40 meat and 40 grain for completing dangerous or forbidden glade events. I'll give me 40 meat and 40 grain. Seems really good. Food is... Food feels like how I would lose. Not having enough of it. I could buy a small mystery box. Thoughts? Dal Ahan is so mysterious. Love that traitor. I don't know. My boy, old Farloff. My main man. I think is a bit cooler. It's a better place to make planks because it can. Oh, it is, isn't it? Because it can double more easily with beavers. With more people, I just need to build, like, one house. Two harpy houses. And that's full all of a sudden. Is there a game with a close comparison to this one? That's a really interesting question. It reminds me of playing Settlers, the Settlers series. Did anyone play the Settlers series? It's a little bit like that. first settlers I played like settlers I don't know I didn't play the first one I played one of the later ones Is there something else to do here right now? More trades? Ooh. Only give me seven for that? Gosh. It's a hard bargain. I want lizards on this. How many lizards do I have? 12. Lizards like the smelter. Y'all are making jerky now. I'm trying to see if there's a game that past that you've played that you would be able to get a frame of reference for this game for so you weren't completely lost in understanding what's going on. I feel like StarCraft, if all StarCraft was, was base building. Is that helpful? That might not be helpful. I did make an intro video for it, yeah. Training gear, barrels of wine. Nope. What was the other big building I got? I hadn't got one? Oh. Thought I did. It's not.
I went for smelting over the tavern. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And look at it doing its stuff. Look at it go. Look at all these tools I'm making. Ah, zero. Zero tools. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'm full of trades at the moment. Ooh. Let's do that. This gets me double yields much more often. Leveling this up to the final size is really nice. There's nothing for you to harvest. So yeah, let's try to keep buying food whenever we can, because I don't seem to have any of it. I think I keep getting oil from chests. I'm not making it, right? What if I'm making it somehow and I just don't realize? Lobsters and shrimp are mostly wet bugs. What a pleasant and totally normal observation to make. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> what does the artisan do? It makes coats very slowly. Okay. I'm gonna hold on to the 25 until next year unless something forces me to take it earlier. Glade events completed. An artisan. Oh. I got another one. <laughs> oh. Damn. Fair enough. Barger's camp. Yep. This uses a forager's camp. Anything else? Yes. Insects have intestines. Kind of? I think the answer is kind of. Greatest player in all the land. Only watch your runs should be watched at 2x speed. Everything else you watch at 1x. 
You should only watch Watcher runs at 2x speed when Watcher is in Wrath. The rest of the time you should watch it at 1x speed. Divinity is 3x speed though. Obviously. You know? Oh, they want 31? What the fuck? That is like completely unnecessary. No one's giving you 31 jerky. <laughs> is it possible to explore all glades big and small and still win the game? I feel like the hard thing there would be not winning the game before you explored them all but I guess it's probably possible. So much blight. Are you allowed to increase playback speed by 10% for each focus point you have as defect? This would be a funny YouTube series. Watch your run, but every time I'm in Wrath... Every time I enter Wrath, the video speed increases by, like, 10%. Defect run, every time I gain the focus, the video speed increases by 10%. another light post if I don't win this year maybe I just win this year if I'm winning this year it feels kind of silly to be farming what is the point of farming if I'm winning this year an interesting question Wait, everything has gone wrong. I might have to actually, like, pull a unit. Maybe don't run one of the woodcutters for a bit. Boom, boom. Actually, I feel like that's going to mess up one of my towns. So let's just build a shelter. Every time you gain a dex slow down by 10% and intangible makes video 1% more transparent. <laughs> slow down. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think we want to slow down the video that much. Is that what the people want? I don't feel like that's what the people want. How is the cash opening going? This has meta progression in it. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. No. No. That's all the meta progression I have, apparently. I'm waiting until the end of the storm to take this. Bliss! Got him breakfast. Ten ember every time a trader arrives. Another three clay per minute, please.
trading kind of OP. Thoughts? She got Vliss. Plus three plank production. You have a bunch of scrolls. This does scrolls, yeah? Hmm. Deal? I guess? What else do I want? The other thing this does is religion. But nobody really wants religion. Like, lizards, who cares? Doesn't do brawling. Maybe this buys me one reputation. Maybe that's actually okay. Bliss ain't bad. Not a fan of the goatee. I only just noticed the goatee. Ah, uh, yeah, that's kind of terrifying, actually. All right, so the goal here is to win this year. That's what we're trying to do. We'll open another cache. Um, happiness is gonna get a little bit ludicrous. Pretty sure. Looks like we have just about every sort of food. This is minus resolve. 60 hostility. Over and over again. There's no meta progression on that. I am kind of running out of fuel. Ooh, what do you want? Fell a hundred trees. Easy. Although... How do I... Let's maybe work two of you here. It's gonna mess up my... I could just not do this, honestly. <laughs> hey, Bolt the Burb, how are you? Hope you're well. There's no building to salvage here. I wonder if the glades are different. Cleanliness? I never made cosmetics, huh? Because I took the thing that rewards me for making cosmetics, which I have not done. I put three people from here, I guess, over there. That loses the 10% production, but if I also put a decoration over there, it gives me two global resolve, which might be more relevant right now. Pac-Man Aloha. The UI is... It's not too bad as a player of the game. 
you start to learn everything that's going on pretty quickly. My trade routes are so slow. I guess if nothing's arriving during drizzle, there's no reason to do anything in particular. Call you immediately. I have 20 amber. I don't think I care. Actually, the reason I care is that I could sell all of my stuff to you for minus hostility. Also, the impatience is actually good for me. Does that guy sell loot boxes? Yes. This is the loot box seller. I don't know what just happened. Getting 0.88. Um, hold on. Is it, like, bad to be doing this because it's going to stop me from winning this turn? It might stop me from winning this turn. This turn. Yeah, the years are turns. It is known. So I can buy a loot box, but what I actually want to do is sell everything. That's more. More the vibe I'm looking for here. Bathhouse requires a little bit of fabric. Um these are fine. I'm not going to sell anything else. And the point was just that this reduces hostility by a little bit, which gives me longer on the resolve stacking. Because this is filling up. Oh, another thing is... I could burn all my sea marrow, I guess. care. Just take that so I don't have to look at it anymore. It's a lot, lot, lot of, um, a lot, lot, lot of wind coming in. Okay. I'm gonna stop thinking now, I think. Hold up, drop woodcutters to stay below more hostility. My lizards are done making reputation. I think you're gonna stop thinking, therefore you're not gonna stop thinking. Oh no. How much hostility has the cornerstone reduced? Where'd it go? Minus 225 hostility. So a lot. Is it giving one in 145? Am I even going to make it that far? Alright, we went. GG! SDSC! Thanks for the five months! Is it time to attack the traitor? I don't think we need to attack the traitor this time. I attacked the traitor yesterday. It, um, here. Oh, there isn't one. Sorry. Anyway, 
it gives you their stuff, but it kills some of your villagers and increases impatience a lot, and then you get a debuff on future traders. Win a game near the Dangerous Lands modifier. Prestige, 20. I thought I already had Dangerous Lands. I thought I already did that. Did I lose that run? Oh, I think I might have lost that run. I lost that run. <laughs> What are the meta progression elements like in this game? You There's like a prestige system, which is sort of like Ascension and Slay the Spire. I just got all the way through it. And then there's these, which are unlocks, which seem to keep pace relatively well with the difficulties as you're going up. These have been fun. They have neither really detracted from the experience nor... Well, that's not true. The really nice thing that this... I was going to say they haven't like enriched the experience really, but I don't think that's true. Because the nice thing that this does is it lets the devs put some of the more complex systems behind the meta progression. So some of the rules have actually changed over time. Let's take the field kitchen, finally. You beat Prestige 20. So what's left to do? I won. Yeah? Play no pause? More Prestige. Higher difficulties. It's actually like... The game needs another 10 Prestige levels, I think. They're good, but, like, it needs another ton. Because I'm pretty sure that that's winnable, like, 90 plus percent of the time. Okay, 20 on a no trading modifier tile? That would make it a lot harder, yeah. I mean, you can make it harder by going to the places with the modifiers, right? Daily Expedition. The crown doesn't need to know everything, and patience doesn't grow when villagers leave or die. The Obsidian Archivist. Assigned to your village is particularly stingy, only one blueprint to choose from. The growing power of the guild hasn't gone unnoticed. The queen's impatience grows by one every time goods worth 20 amber are sold. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that makes it harder. Embarkation bonuses. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a lot harder, for sure. Uh, I'm going to go have dinner and enjoy the rest of my night. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see you again tomorrow.